What's up everybody? I'm Caesar. It's now October and with it we have ghost stories. This one was recently sent to me and it begins with homework. Several years ago, I was at a friend's home. We had homework to do. We had to paint these really large banners. So I sat down on the floor, laid the, the large paper walls in front of me and got to work. I knew her father was some sort of witch doctor or wizard or something. He had to do with spells and things. I thought that he, you know, healed people and got rid of, of bad energies and things like that. That's what I thought. That night I was working on the banners when I suddenly I felt like as, as if someone laid on my back, on my back and my shoulder, really heavy. Uh, I tried to, to turn around and see what, what was happening and I just couldn't move. I was paralyzed. I couldn't move at all. And that's when I heard it, right to my ear. It was a guttural wet sound, as if someone was trying to scream and just couldn't. As soon as the sound stopped, I was able to move again. I freaked out. I, I stood up, ran out of the house, and my friend ran, ran right behind me, asking me, well, what's wrong? Everything, is everything okay? And I told her, no. Uh, I, I, I told her what just happened to me and she said, Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, we have the spirit of a little girl here in the house and we've seen her right, right next to the stairs where you, where, where you were working. She told me that her dad, you know, for his rituals, for spells, for whatever, uh, had been collecting some uh, African figurines. And their theory was that the spirit of a little girl was trapped somehow in one of these little figurines and that's how it came to live with them in their home. My friend's brother, her brother, was a little kid back, back then and he used to draw this little African girl alongside of people who had what looked like gunshots in the middle of their foreheads. And he used to say that they spoke to him in these dreams. At some point, and that's something I, I, that actually happened to me as well, we found tiny little handprints on one of the, one of the windows on the, on, the second, on the second story. They were not, you know, like, like, like low, like a kid's high, but they were like higher up, like, a, like an adult's high, but they were tiny little things. Now, I don't know, what are you supposed to do with that? How do you find out one of your little African figurines is haunted? And when you actually do know for sure what do you do about it? I seriously don't know. If any of you guys have any idea, please let us know in the comments. Thank you very much for the story. I loved it. If you or anyone you know have a creepy, unexplained ghost story, send it our way. It could be the next one featured here. Thank you very much for watching. Hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you here in the next time. Bye!